think we'll be seeing from Money in this one. And watch how many times he initiates the pick and roll, Kevin, and how good he is at, at running it as the cutter. He's duped a lot of defenders with that play. And something else he does is he's great off the dribble. He can take it to the rack or pull up. So as a defender, you don't know how to play him. Grizzlies will look to their home court advantage just one game here in Memphis. This their first look at this year's Washington squad. Home court advantage played a part in last year's season series. Each team took their home game in a 1-1 split. Well, last year these teams split the two games they played, something we see so often in these interconference series. Johnson off the pick from McHale. Iverson with the ball, now guarded by Money. Passes it to Boss. Back to Iverson. Lock at six. It's blocked. And now the Grizzlies. Fast break. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Well, at least the defender got his money's worth on that one. Yep, that was an easy whistle for the official. Steve, you alluded to the two games they split last season. And that really is the case, isn't it, Clark? When two teams see each other so rarely, you can often throw out the records. Oh, yeah, you're exactly right there, Kevin. That's a definite. I mean, you're just not sure what you're going to get from those games. Now here's Iverson. Gets it to go. Here's Westbrook. Debusher with a screen on Johnson. Now, here is Knight. 20 points for him last game against the Heat in Miami. Six to shoot. Westfall drains it from 17 feet out. The mid-range jumper becomes a pretty high percentage shot for him when he has that kind of space. Iverson kicks to Johnson. There's the pass to Boss. Back to Johnson. Wizards passing it around. The drive by Iverson. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Well, you got to admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season, shooting better than 90% from the strike. You know, one thing about getting going at the free throw line like he has this season, it can continue to carry over. And so he hits both. And we're about a minute and a half into the first quarter. Doris Burke has some information for us, Doris. Kevin, the Wizards head coach had a couple of moments for me. We talked about their strategy on how to contain Russell Westbrook, and he told me that Russell's at his best in the open floor. To counteract that, they'll try to make sure they get back on defense in a hurry and limit his chances to get out in transition and start setting up his teammates or throwing down dunks. Neither is a good option for them. And as always, Doris, thank you. Johnson, the pass to McKeel, and another miss by Washington. Major defensive laps right there. I mean, he's not a player you can leave open for a jump shot. You've got to stay attached to him. They're lucky he couldn't punish them for it. Now, here's Walton. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against Miami. And his rebounding in that game, Kevin, just tremendous. He owned the boards. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Johnson against Westbrook. Back to Johnson. Pass to Iverson. Five to shoot. There's the screen. And they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. The past few weeks, let's see how Washington stacks up. First in free throw percentage. Fifth in fewest turnovers per game. And they are in the top third of the league in assists. With the quality of players they have, you thought they might be better there, but not bad. At any time you lead the league in free throw shooting, as you talked about, Clark, you can put a lot of pressure on the defense. And that's why this team has made a concerted effort to attack the rim and get to the line as often as possible. Now here's Iverson after the miss from Knight. And they double up Iverson. Backing him down is Johnson. This is his first trip to the line tonight. Well, you got to admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season, shooting better than 90% from the strike. 
Guys, I like that this is a part of his game that has really been consistent this year. And so he makes both from the line. And at the free throw line, it's all about consistency with him. Same routine, same stroke. He kicks it tonight. Feeds to the bushel. Poke loose. And here we go. Washington fast break. The score now all even. Here's Money. Right now averaging 11 points a game. There's the feed to Walton. Knight. Knight gets a screen from Walton. Left side, Westbrook. The tray. The shot is off. And it's Washington the other way. They want to keep it rolling here following the win against Dallas. Seemed like they hit every big shot they had in that game. Kevin, their, their offense was clicking, but really clutch in big moments. That's ideally the way you want it to unfold on the road, Steve. Don't even give the fans a chance to get into the game. He feeds it tonight. Shot clock at five. And out of bounds as the Wizards gain possession. While we're on a short break, we've got some time to break down the steel leaders at the shooting guard position over the last month. Well, you look at Allen Iverson, fifth in the NBA. Very crafty player. And both the hand speed and general quickness of the players on that list are outstanding. And those are the qualities you need to be an effective perimeter defender. Well, the two-guard position is where we often find a team's best defender, and that's definitely the case with these guys. Every one of their teams leans on them heavily at the defensive end. Here's money after Magic Johnson's bucket, and that one's good. And that's now six points for money. Well, for Memphis, their last game a loss to the Heat. I thought overall, Kevin, it was mostly the defensive effort that hurt them. Just no energy, no purpose. Steve, I thought they were late on their rotations. They didn't really communicate well, and as a result, they paid for it. They get it again. A second chance effort. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. The Wizards shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Yeah, this is a very good free throw shooting team, guys. I mean, you look at the numbers, impressive. Really, guys, it's just come together for them at the charity strike this season. I mean, the confidence is there, and so too are the results. Both free throws, good from the Prodigy. Grizzlies have gone 4-7 from the field, shooting over 50%. Walton is screen on Iverson. Here's Money, right side Westbrook. Wizards making a switch here. Walton, the pass to Money. This is to the busher. Six on the shot clock. Stolen by Iverson. And here we go. The Wizards fast break. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. Now we get a chance to check out the standings out east already. We are in December. Taking a look at Washington. A terrific position for them as they hold up that illustrious top spot. But it's a long season as we all know. And checking out Miami. Right on their heels and with their sights set on gaining ground. You know, right now for the Wizards, with the way they started the season, they'd have you thinking they were one of the favorites coming in instead of the exact opposite. <laughs> yeah, Clark, I mean, there were a lot of teams getting a, a ton of attention in the preseason. And uh, let's just say they were not one of them. So timeout call here. The first for Memphis. He's definitely shaken up. They're using the timeout to let their trainer take a look at him. The Grizzlies trail by four. Kicks tonight. The dish to Walton. And blocked. But they recover it. And that's out of bounds. Memphis will retain possession. Out of bounds. Washington takes possession.
and the Wizards with possession. A big stretch here going 10 2. Iverson passes to Boss. And Walton with the block. And now the Grizzlies. Last break. The shot's good from DeBusher. That finish brings me back to the old days. The silky smooth finger roll. The Wizards with the lead. And here is Johnson. He picked up 12 points in their last win against Dallas. And his work on the glass, certainly noteworthy. And he contributed in a number of ways. Westbrook kicks to DeBusher. Pass to Griffin. Outside Westbrook. He dishes it to DeBusher. Knight on the wing. Shot clock at six. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. And I'll say this about him, Kevin. I mean, it looks like he's made of rubber sometimes because defenders just bounce off him when he's driving the lane. What a finisher. And also, he catches a lot of defenders off balance, Steve, with his ability to pull up and drain shots off the bounce. It's a very effective skill to have. And Washington making a change here. Good on both. Wizards have gotten just three of their first nine shots to go down in this game. Kicks it out to Iverson. Back to Johnson. Pass to Richardson. And good coming off the assist by Magic Johnson. Richardson's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. And there's the pass to Griffin. Back to Jones. Chambers. Finds himself wide open and drills it. You know, his ability is matched only by his energy, guys. I mean, he's usually in the middle of everything for his team. Pass to Iverson. Feeds it to Richardson. Shot on the wing. They get it back. McHale dishes to Richardson. Defended by Griffith. Second shot opportunity. Richardson, good. Richardson's got his second basket of the night. And it was almost like he was surprised to be that wide open, yet he knocked it down. Outside, Jones. Kerr, the pass to Chambers. Griffith, Iverson covering. Here's Griffith. Hits the outside fadeaway. Tell you what, it's a huge plus to have him making shots like that. Johnson attacking. Gets it to go. Johnson's got six points. The Grizzlies trail by three. Outside, Jones. Back to Kerr. Lock at six. The feather touch on the finger roll. Beautiful. Kerr's got his first basket of the night. Even with the D lurking, he made it look easy with the soft finger roll. Johnson kicks to Iverson. Back to Johnson. The feed now to Iverson. Richardson. Offline with his three. Steve, they've come out with a take-no-prisoners approach on the glass today. Yeah, it's impressive, too. Clark's already got them a plus-five margin in the rebound column. I thought he'd make that one. And that's his range, and the defense nowhere to be seen. That's good. Really hard to find fault with anything he's doing this quarter, at least at the offensive end. Now a timeout called by Memphis. Yeah, and, uh, guys, I think he feels like he can make a few improvements during this timeout, just kind of make a couple of adjustments, get his club back on track. You know, coaches are always tweaking and tinkering with things mid-game. Actually, sometimes they overdo it. Well, here we can get a look at Memphis and what kind of numbers they put up these last 10 games. Ninth in steal, 11th in assist, and they're in the top half of the league in shooting from deep as well. This is a strong suit for this team.
knocking down those shots from behind the arc. What they try to do, Clark, is pressure the ball. I mean, you talked about the steals per game, and I, that's the key number of all those stats. They pressure the ball. But they really create havoc for the offense. And when they take you out of the flow of your offense, it, it really makes the, the, the ball stop, and the game becomes very difficult for the offensive team. It's been a very efficient first quarter for him. He's creating good opportunities and converting those that he creates. Dumars kicks to Richardson. One oh six left in the first quarter of the game. And out of bounds as the Grizzlies gain possession. And a brief moment now to see who's atop the NBA in team free throws. Number one, the Wizards. Now from the very beginning of training camp, guys, I mean, free throw shooting was put at the top of the list in terms of points of emphasis. So it's clearly paid dividends. Now here's Jones. He hasn't scored yet. That I'm sure will change. Chambers kicks to Jones. Covered by Dumas. Let's it fly from 18. It's rebounded by Leonard. Tell you what, if their success on the boards in this first quarter is any indication, it's going to be a good day. And rebounds usually are a good indicator. Here's Bosch and Washington again with the bucket. Got him with the turnaround there. That was as sweet as honey. Jones, the best in order. Back to Jones. 20 seconds left in the first. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. The Grizzlies have hit all four of their chances so far in this one. Two shots. Come on, you can hit this. And the first one drops. And so Jones nails both of them. We've got 13 seconds left to play in the first. Dumars kicks to Richardson. Leonard on the wing. Back to Richardson. From outside the arc. And that one's good. Richardson's got 10 points in the game. I don't know how they're going to keep this pace up. Both teams on fire here early. And playing the game on rollerblades, too. And we reached... This Friday night, this... Welcome back, everyone. We're ready to get going again as this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports continues. Players are topped off with Gatorade, hydrated, and ready to get going again as well. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Wizards. Well, they've come out of that locker room with a hot hand. Those jumpers have been falling for them. And the other area that's really been strong for them tonight is their ability to get to the free throw line, finding easy points. And now, brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. So the Grizzlies five right now. We've got Chambers. Also Kerr out there. And it's Griffith then at the two spot. It's stolen by Jones. Rushes it down to finish the break. Textbook example there of how to use defense to create offense. Yes, beautiful transition play after the steal all the way to the basket. Wasted no time going from defense to offense. Yeah, it feels like they're starting to pick up the intensity as the game itself starts to get a little more tight and close. No good from Bosch. You've got to like what they've been doing down there in the low post part. I do. I love it. Their rebounding has been outstanding. So important in a tight game. Well, you knew he'd win that race. Definitely. I mean, that's what you call early offense. So timeout called here, the first for Washington. Well, they were getting run ragged out there. Good time for a timeout. Maybe it was even too late, but this club has to regroup now. Well, I tell you what, it wasn't pretty, and they definitely needed to take a minute to talk things over. The prodigy is checked in for Andre Drummond. And we play just over a minute of basketball here in the second quarter. Dumars against Jones. Back to Leonard. He kicks it to Richardson. Takes the three. Offensive rebound. And the call will be against Red Hot. That is his first foul of the game. Tough call there and a tough break for the defense. 
But you know, I think you could still see him kind of sliding in there. I don't have a problem with the call. Money's checked in for the Grizzlies. Dumars kicks to Richardson. And that's a foul called on Money. That'll be his second foul of the game. Boy, with two fouls now, he really has to be disciplined and under control for the rest of this half. Dumars kicks to Richardson. Pass to the prodigy. Defended by Kerr. Here's the prodigy. Back to Richardson. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's the prodigy. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. Here's what Memphis has lined up on their schedule. They get to take on the Bulls at Chicago after this one. And that'll be the first of a two-game road trip for them. Yeah, some really good matchups out there. And that Chicago Bulls game is one that I'll be checking out. No free throws good from the Prodigy. For Memphis, they've got a nice 3-3 three three to start the set. Quarter number two, we're about two minutes in. Here's Kerr. Rebound, Washington. Well, he's not necessarily a strong inside presence, but he needs to polish those chances off. Good job there, recognizing the mismatch and then just going straight up with the shot. He's got a major height advantage. Now here's Jones, averaging six points per contest. Shumper off the screen. It's rebounded by the prodigy. Well, with that much space off the pick, you've got to drop that in. Yeah, you got to make that one. I mean, that's a high-quality shot you should make nine out of ten times. Leonard against Jones. Top of the key. That one a little long. Memphis trailing here. Passes to Chambers. He feeds it to Kerr. The pass to Money. Six on the shot clock. The jumper from the free throw line is good. Money's got his second bucket of the night. For Washington, they've got only one of their first four shots in the second quarter to drop. Knocked away. And out of bounds is Memphis game's possession. Now we get a chance to check out the standings out west. Already we're in December. Taking a look at Oklahoma City. Things going their way so far in this season. Right now, they lead the pack up front in the first spot with the best record. But of course, there's the Grizzlies, just way behind. You know, for the Grizzlies, they've gotten off to a kind of start that you wouldn't have been able to imagine. It's been a lot bumpier than anticipated. Yeah, they've got some talent, and I think most people thought this team would be pretty good. And yet, everything's gone wrong for them to this point in the season, and they better be careful. I mean, this, this season could really fall apart for them. On the wing, Jason Richardson. They grabbed their own miss. The kick out to Bosch. Dumars. Back to Bosch. Goes back up. And it's good. He is just so good from that range, guys. You know, never mind with the height advantage he had there. Pass to Chambers. All sorts of time. Good. Chambers got four points this quarter. Wizards trail by three. Now Dumars, still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. And there's the foul. It'll go on the captain. That is his first foul of the game. Allen Iverson has checked in for Kawhi Leonard. Dishes to Bosch. Pass to the product. Kicks it to Iverson. And out of bounds as the Grizzlies gain possession. Over the last month, let's take a look at the Grizzlies and how they stacked up in the league statistically. Fifth in steals, seventh in three-point field goal percentage. And they're in the top half of the league distributing the basketball as well. Not too shabby, room for improvement, but acceptable. The key really to me out of all those numbers, Clark, is the steals, because that's become their identity defensively. Uh, they're a real ball-hawking team. They like to get out, put pressure on the offense, force mistakes, and when they do that, they're tough to stop in transition. And we're able to recover. Kerr can't hit. Wizards trail by three. Outside Dumars. Inside to Bosch. He passes to the product. It's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. 
and a brief look while we have the chance of a few of the hottest big men in the NBA. The leaders among centers and power forwards in field goal percentage during the last month. Take a look at the prodigy. Fourth in the league and as consistent as they come. You know, it's one thing to be able to create high-quality shots for yourself, but you still have to finish. And there's no doubt all those guys can do both. Yeah, every sentence needs a period. It's one thing to get the shot off, but you need to finish. You need to take care of business in there. Most of their chances are easy ones. The Grizzlies making a switch here. DeBusher is checked in. So one for two that time with the strike. For Memphis, they've gone six of ten from the floor here in the second quarter. Money passes to Jones. Passes it to Norman. Six to shoot. Here's Money. And the call will go against the Prodigy. That's his first foul. The Wizards making a switch here. Jones dishes the wall. Shoots to Busher. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Well, he's wide open there, but uh, really struggles from that range. Maybe there's a reason he's open. They set the screen. Richardson kicks to McKay. The game now all time. And he came off that screen. The defense just couldn't get over the top. Beautiful play. Yep, and without a hand in his face, he's going to bury those. Now the dish to Walton. Memphis moving it around. Feeds it to DeBusher. He's against McHale. It's stolen by McHale. Dumars, the pass to Iverson. Another shot. And Dumars gets it to go. Well, he's very strong inside, particularly as a finisher. So even if you give him a hard foul, hard contact, nothing seems to bother him. And this guy, as a result, is a good score. Exactly. That's about the only way to stop him once he's making a run at the hoop. So it's the Grizzlies now after the basket by Washington. Just four to shoot. Fires from the line. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket's good. He'll go to the line. The Grizzlies have made the most out of their opportunities at the line. They have yet to miss in seven attempts. Chris Bosch has checked in for the Wizards. That's good for money. And Washington has possession. They trail by one. Bosch, the screen. Iverson with the ball. Now guarded by DeBusher. Iverson dishes to Bosch. Good. And it's Iverson who picks up the assist. And that's now six points for Chris Bosch. Westbrook kicks to Knight. Back to Westbrook. He dishes it to Knight. And there's the feed to Westbrook. In low to Walton. Lock at six. Puts it up from 12. Rebound by the Wizards. Iverson's got his third rebound tonight. They're off to San Antonio after this game, bringing their show to the AT&T Center. That's game four of four out on the road for them. Now here's Iverson. 17 points for him last game against Dallas. Chipped in with a couple of blocks, too, so I'm just giving you a hint of his potential impact at the defensive end. The Grizzlies trail by three. Here's Money. He has seven. And the shot is good. Money's got seven now in this quarter. It took him a little while to get into the flow of this game, but now he's definitely found his stride and rhythm. The bastard boss. Iverson outside. The offensive rebound. And Walton sends it back. And so it looks like the Wizards will retain possession here. Chance now to check out the Washington Wizards' upcoming schedule. They're off to San Antonio after this game, bringing their show to the AT&T Center. And that will conclude a four-game road trip. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Grizzlies will take it. Boy, did they ever make a mess out of that one. Terrible turnover. Wizards making a switch here. The Grizzlies have gone 8 of 14 in the second quarter on field goal attempts. 
Westbrook kicks tonight. Here's Horton. That misses off the back. He probably tried to do a little too much there. That was good defense. Johnson, the pass to Iverson. Back to Johnson. Steps back and fires. It's rebounded by DeBusher. DeBusher's got his third rebound tonight. Outside Westbrook. Makes the lead pass. And Horton throws it down. No shortage of drama here early on. Well, neither team can grasp control of this thing. I mean, both teams trying to get a hold of. What do you think, Steve? Well, yeah, eight lead changes already. I mean, that's a big number this early in the game. So we're in for a, a treat tonight. This is a competitive matchup. Spreewell. And another miss by Washington. That's a tough one there because he's wide open. That's a shot he expects to make. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. Edric Johnson picks one up. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Grizzlies. You know, they've done a great job of getting a hand up on shooters. Actually, have gotten a lot of blocks as well, solidifying that defensive effort. And we're also seeing a lot of fast break groups, so this team doing a nice job getting easy points. And Memphis making a change here. Jones has checked in. And so Westbrook makes them both. Still haven't seen them miss a shot from the line in this quarter, so they're doing a nice job of protecting the lead. Well, they're cashing in from the line. I mean, they're making them pay for fouling them right now. Back to Iverson. He kicks to Johnson. Shoots from the elbow. And Johnson missing again. And the Grizzlies leading by three. Outside Westbrook. Makes it off the glass. Westbrook's got four points in the quarter. I don't know who was supposed to be on him there, but clearly a mistake by the defense. Johnson kicks to McCabe. To Busher on him. And the shot is good. It looks like he's finding his touch now because the shots are starting to fall. It's Westbrook with the drive. Good D by Johnson. The defense was ready for him that time, and they had to be. He is so powerful in the lane. Pass to Boss. Back to Johnson. Here's Burleson. Good D by Westbrook. You know, he can be a little hesitant near the rim. We saw it there. If the defense offers just a little bit of resistance, he doesn't take it up quite strong enough. Oh, I tell you what, nice little run here they're going on. Now the story is points in the paint, Clark. I mean, they're getting point-blank shots every time down. Time call here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. You know, all coaches hate defensively when you give up easy points in the paint. That, that's inexcusable. So that, that's the reason for this timeout here. I think it came down to the fact they were getting beat inside. And that's why the coach called timeout. They were not winning the battle inside. There's a minute left in the first half. They really want to find that igniter here. Yeah, that's right. The, Kevin, the offense has basically been running in place. They got to get going. Now here's Iverson. He's got six. And Kevin McHale, the bucket on the assist by Iverson. McHale's got his third basket of the night right there. They can trade two for one here. Yeah, that's the right move. To get a good possession here, play defense, and get one more opportunity to score. Jones kicks tonight. He feeds it to Westbrook. Back tonight. Five on the clock. Snatched away. And they'll probably let the clock wind down here. Exactly. No need to get the ball back before the end of the quarter. Boy, they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing that ball into the paint. Smash mouth basketball. <laughs> yeah, and it's a strategy that has served them well in this opening half. Part. And that one's good. Magic Johnson with the ball. Right now averaging 17 points a game. Here's Iverson. And we're through two here and a good one. It's the Grizzlies up by three. Live from the FedEx Forum, you're watching 2K Sports. Now, presented by Sprint. Thanks for joining us at halftime. We've got a terrific game going. The Nets in a tight one. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint.
Here we go now, the start of the third quarter, welcoming you back in a closely contested first half so far. Check out the game for Jason Richardson. He's got 10 points, and he's picked up six points from behind the arc. Now his outside stroke has looked really good today. So on the floor for Washington. Prodigy is up there with Kevin McKayla. Then there's Allen Iverson. Then there's Boss. And it's Johnson in at the one spot. Now here's Iverson. That's good. Iverson's got eight. And they're beginning to fall apart a little bit defensively, especially inside. Well, that's four straight buckets now at the rim. Here's Money. Knight on the wing. That's the Walton. From 10 feet out, it's blocked, but he recovers it and gets hacked by the D. He'll go to the line. For Memphis, they haven't made a mistake at the line yet. 10 of 10. That free throw good from Walton. So Walton nails both of them. And a minute played as the second half gets going. Johnson outside. Passes it to Boss. Back to Johnson. Nice ball movement by Washington. Six on the shot clock. Here's the three. It's rebounded by DeBusher. DeBusher's got five rebounds tonight. And we're just about a minute and a half into the third quarter of basketball. Westbrook, the good-looking shot from the wing. Westbrook's got five points now in the quarter. He's played an important role in their offense today, guys. Without him, they may not be in the lead. The pass to Boss. Here's the prodigy. He's guarded by Knight. The prodigy passes to Johnson. Shoots the three. The shot's good from Boss. Boss has got seven points. Now, they're not showing too much respect for him defensively, are they? Here's Westfall. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. Talk about complete control. Everything working in this one for money. He has nine points, and he's also got one block to add to the mix today. Yeah, it's just a small part of what's been a, a solid overall contribution by him defensively. And Washington has possession. Six-point game. Johnson off the pick from McHale. Boss passes to Iverson. Shot clock at six. Boss. It's rebounded by Memphis. Walton's got his fourth rebound in this one. Money. Iverson cover. Westbrook can't get it to go. Wizards trail by six. Pass to Boss. Knight grabs the board. Knight's got his fifth rebound in this one. You know, he just hasn't looked right to me. A bit out of sorts, if you will. Something's off with his mechanics. Um, at least as I look at it. Now here's Westbrook. He's got 11. And Walton kicks to Knight. Knocks it loose. And here we go. The Wizards fast break. Boy, I love it. Active hands on the steel. Active feet on the fast break. And Clark Power on the dunk. Yeah, guys, this is just too close of a game to be giving the ball up like that and then failing to get back in transition. Now a timeout called by Memphis. You can tell he's in a lot of pain. They'll take a timeout so that trainer can help him out. And a look at the top three-point shooting small forwards this season in the NBA. Every wingman should have that shot in his arsenal, and these guys certainly do. Look at Richardson. He's absolutely deadly from outside. And, of course, Money. Now, these guys are all constant threats on the perimeter. Shooting the three isn't all they do, but it's a lot of what they do. And as small forwards, they can take it straight to the hole and get their points in close, too. I mean, all of these guys can hurt you inside and out. DeBusher kicks to Westbrook. On loads. No good. Now Washington takes it the other way. Sprewell is covered by DeBusher. Now here's Westbrook. Not a lot of room. Gives him the lead pass. Gets it to go. Martin's got four points this quarter. Beautiful feed off the bounce to his teammate there. Nicely done. 
Johnson outside. McHale outside. Iverson kicks to Johnson. Six to shoot. He passes to Boss. And now it's night running. You can go all the way. Throws down the breakaway jam. Guys, that should be superb. Ball pressure, a run out, and then a dunk in transition. Exactly, Clark, what they want. The aggressive defense to lead to. Yeah, points in transition. Yeah, that's why you want to make the other team feel uncomfortable handling the ball because you can get easy points out of it at the other end. That free throw good from the Prodigy. And the Grizzlies making a change here. So he gets them both. And the Grizzlies leading by six. Outside, Jones. Up top, Knight. And another basket for Memphis. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from inside the paint area. The defense has to make an adjustment. They've got to string together some stops, or at the very least, try to force this team into some bad shots. The drive by Iverson, and that one's good. Iverson's got four this quarter. You know, guys, that's what he does. He just loves to play that kind of attacking basketball. Outside, Jones. Up top, Knight. Fires, high post. And it's off the back rim, no good. Wizards trail by six. Passes it to Boss. Back to Johnson. Boss. Second chance shot. Shot's good from the Prodigy. The Prodigy's got 11 points. Boy, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. They've got a battle inside. Well, this game has been tough, Clark. I mean, they're getting after it, and I think they're starting to run a little bit low on energy, possibly. A nice shot by Knight. How about the field goal percentage shooting this half, guys? It's gone through the roof. Johnson with it. Six points for him. Another one falls for Washington. Memphis leading by four. Outside, Jones. And Walton kicks to Knight. Knight gets a screen from Walton. Knight dishes to Jones. And it's going to be a three-second call. Taking a look back over the last month, let's see how Washington stacked up in the NBA rankings. First in free throw shooting fifth and scoring and they're in the top 10 in fewest turnovers per game and they really do emphasize taking care of the ball and anytime you lead the league in free throw shooting as you talked about Clark I mean, you can put a lot of pressure on the defense and that's why this team has made a concerted effort to attack the rim and get to the line as often as possible Johnson attacking well, probably the right play defensively. So if you can't get the block, send them to the free throw line. Don't give them an easy two. No easy buckets inside. Force free throws and work to keep them out of the lane next time around. Andre Drummond's check in for the Wizards. He's perfect from the line this time. 100% free throw shooting this half, guys. Efficiency is so crucial when you're trying to overcome a deficit, Steve. Back to Westbrook. And the pass to Griffin. Lock at six. Back to Westbrook. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. The Wizards have not defended well against Russell Westbrook. He's got 11 points and a steal. I'll tell you what, he's made his mark on this game in so many ways, guys. Yeah, just on the strength of his defense alone, he would have stood out. But his offense has been outstanding as well. Now here's Johnson. He's got 10. Allen Iverson on the wing. Here's Drummond. Gets the bucket. Drummond's got his first basket. Well, coaches love him because of the hustle he's continually showing out on the floor. And I think where you really see it most is on the offensive board. 
And you know what? He is also relentless on the boards. He works as hard on his rebounding as anybody you're going to see. Here's Knight. He's got 14. That's really a tough call. One you don't like to see, but it was called. And now he's got to really make sure that he's on top of his game here in regards to not picking up another foul. That was his fifth right there. Kerr's checked in for Walton. Now here's Kerr. Right now averaging five points a game. Westbrook drives in. Six on the shot clock. Excellent D there by Johnson. For Washington, they've gone 7 of 12 from the floor since coming out of the break. To tie. And Washington again with the bucket. Boy, they are just destroying them in the paint. You could say that again, Steve. The defenders just aren't aggressive enough down low. Here's Westbrook. Another miss by Westbrook. A poor shooting from him this quarter. His shooting percentage nowhere near where he'd like it to be. Iverson passes to Johnson. Boss. Back to Johnson. For the lead. It's a big height. Johnson goes in. Johnson's got eight points in the quarter. The Grizzlies have gone at a pretty good shooting pace. They're 6 of 13 from the field here in the third. Outside Westbrook. Back to Kerr. Outside Westbrook. Dishes it tonight. Some nice passing there by Memphis. And it's Westbrook. That time on the assist by Knight. 16 points for Russell Westbrook. He is just tearing it up this court. That lead's not going anywhere while he's this high. The drive by Iverson. And Washington again with the bucket. And not even three quarters out of the way. So many lead changes. One heck of a game. I mean, guys, this has been outstanding in terms of the effort that both sides have been able to put up. Look over there, and Steve. He's enjoying every second of the yes, yeah, yeah. Me too. Yeah. This has been great, guys. Look at the fans getting their money's worth here. Both teams just playing so hard out there. Pass to Boss. The 11-footer. Iverson, no luck. He's tried to get it going, but the shots just have not dropped for him today. Westbrook drives in, lets the three fly, and it's out of bounds. The Wizards will take it the other way. Wizards making a switch here. Washington's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Johnson kicks to Iverson. There's the dish to McHale. Cool. That's Iverson who picks up the assist. McHale's got 10 points. They're earning their points with the jump shot now. Yeah, that's six of their last 10 points coming in that in-between range. Pass to Chambers. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. It goes on Kevin McHale been a nice game for T. He has eight points and a pretty good rebounding performance from him also. Yeah, he's been establishing terrific position, boxing out very well and battling hard for every rebound. And Memphis making a change here. He's off on the second. The Wizards with the lead. Iverson kicks to Johnson. Here's Sprewell. And a draw from three-point range. Memphis has gone two or three when they ventured outside the arc in the third quarter. Iverson against Westbrook. Passes to Griffith. Six to shoot. Westbrook lets it go. Tries again with the clock winding down, and he sinks the lead. And that's 11 points for T. You know, that putback's about as easy as it's going to get. You, you have to put a body on someone down there. Well, no box out. That's the result you get right there. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. The three from Iverson. Here's Burleson. It's good, and he threw contact on the shot, so we will go to the line. A three-point play chance here. 
And he's got his first chance at the line here. They got to keep fighting their way to the line, guys. This half has been nothing but success for them there. And their confidence has to just continue to go up the longer the perfection continues. They get the rebound. Chambers can't make the basket. He operates pretty well in traffic, guys, but that was a tough play to finish off. Three quarters of play in a close game here. Wizards lead by three. And we're just moments away from the start of the fourth quarter. Stay with us. On tap. This. Welcome back as we get rolling once more. The fourth quarter right ahead in what's been a very well-contested game. Let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Wizards. And their mid-range shooting continues to be accurate. They've worked hard to get the ball into the low post tonight as well. And it's made off. Chambers out there with Walton. And there's Money. Then there's Russell Westbrook. And it's Money in at the two-guard spot. That's the lineup in the game for Memphis. Boss passes to McHale. Johnson outside. He passes it to Boss. And good coming off the assist by Magic Johnson. Johnson's got three assists tonight. We've seen a noticeable improvement out of him since halftime. He didn't have a whole lot working in the first half. Outside Westbrook. Money. Iverson covering. Westbrook hits the jump hook. And now both of these clubs really in a groove here. Already a high-scoring game, but it has become an offensive showcase down the stretch. Washington calls timeout. And I think he, he believes that if he takes some time here to kind of talk things over, it'll be well served for this club. And, you know, maybe this gives them an opportunity to toy around with some of their game plan while he has their attention during this break in the action. Let's go quickly over to Doris Burke for an update. Well, over the break, I listened in on what the head coach for the Wizards was getting across in their huddle. He was absolutely adamant, saying, don't let them off the hook. Let's keep our foot on the pedal and keep doing the things that have gotten us here this far. We're almost home. Iverson passes to Boss. Shot clock at six. Here's Johnson. Who's back up. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. It's going to go on Bill Walton. Well, I think that the Grizzlies need to change their strategy against Johnson. He's got 14 points, and four of his points have come at the foul line. He's made the most of those opportunities. Which can't be undervalued, Clark. So many times a game can come down to which team wins the free throw battle. Wizards making a switch here. McHale's check in. The Grizzlies trail by six. We're just over a minute and a half now into the fourth. Kicks it tonight. Back in. Here's Westfall. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. Two shots. Free throw good for money. Both free throws good for money. Wizards leading by four. Iverson dishes to Johnson. Only going up for the alley oop here. And it's Kevin McHale with the finish. And the lead just grows on that ridiculous offensive sequence. You know, Clark, that dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Yeah, that just added more to it. Yeah, what a beautiful connection on that play. Well, he's been a real positive factor for them today. Although, you know, as a team, they've had a lot of negatives mixed in there as well. Feeds it to Iverson. Back to Johnson. McHale, right side. Just five to shoot. Tipped away. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. The first one falls. And the Grizzlies making a change here. And 
and McHale drops them both. Boy, I tell you what, he does not look like your typical big man up there at the line. He has an excellent stroke and a percentage to match. Outside Westbrook. DeBusher with a screen on Johnson. It's Westbrook with the drive. And that one's good. Westbrook's got 12 points here in the second half. And that's a difficult shot in the face of a defender that towers over him. Well, you know, he almost seems to enjoy those mismatches, Steve. It gives him a chance to show what a strong finisher he is. Shot's good by McHale. Boy, big man with very soft hands and a nice touch around the hoop. The Grizzlies trail by six. Now the pass to Griffin. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. Shooting from Memphis. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Oh, free throws. Good from Griffin. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. Johnson outside. Iverson. And he overshot that one. Missing. Not a bad look for him on that shot, but it just doesn't seem to be his night tonight. Night on the wing. He dishes it to Walton. The feed to Westbrook. And that comes off the assist by Bill Walton. 20 points for Russell Westbrook. The Wizards have gone 3 of 6 in the field so far in the fourth quarter. Here's McHale. And some very quick points for him on that possession. The Grizzlies trail by 4. Westbrook kicks to DeBush. In low to Walton. Gets to the rim for two with the D all over him. This has really become an intense ball game ever since halftime. Boy, the effort from both teams here, Steve, is terrific. Johnson, the pass to the product. Can't get it to go. That's kind of a shocker. The defense was there, but it wasn't right in his face. Kind of out of character for him to miss those. And it's Westbrook missing. Washington's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. There's a good screen. Kicks it out to Johnson. Offensive rebound. The shot's good from the prodigy. And the Wizards lead by four. He got a great read of where that miss was going, and that allowed him to be the first guy to it and get the putback. Timeout called. The Grizzlies. You got to like what Kevin McHale has done in this game. And he's getting to the rack all game, and if they can't do a better job of keeping him out of the paint, they're in for a long night. Grizzlies have gone 5 of 7 from the field since the beginning of the fourth. Strong work at that end of the floor. Outside Westbrook. Pass to Griffin. Pocket 6. Iverson cover. High post try. Bull shot. You know, typically he's just a role player, but when he does score, it allows the offense to be more balanced. Johnson outside. Lays it up, and despite of the excellent defense at that, Johnson's got four points in the quarter. DeBusher with a screen on Johnson. Passes it to Griffin. Kevin McHale pulls it in. Wizards leading by four. He kicks to Johnson. Iverson outside. The pass to Boss. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. Clark, some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, they need a basket just to regain some momentum here, Kevin. He's locked in right now, guys. Hitting some big shots here in the fourth quarter. Iverson outside. Shoots from the line. Off the left rim and out. Early on, he tried to shoot his way out of this funk. But later in the game now, he might want to just give it up and look for his teammates to do the score. Well, he's flipped the switch here in the fourth quarter. That's three of four shooting here. 
Johnson. Allen Iverson on the wing. And good coming off the assist by Magic Johnson. 14 points for Iverson. He's going to have to be much more effective to stay on the floor and to keep his team in the game here in the fourth quarter. Outside Westbrook shoots it. Kevin McHale pulls it in. You know, that mid-range jump shot is not his strong suit, even when he gets a good look like that. Boss passes to Johnson. Count the basket and the foul. It's going to go on Bill Walton. You know, of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is major smash mouth basketball, guys. Love it. Old school. Just physical play in the paint. Dominate. Money's checked in for the Grizzlies. The Grizzlies trail by five. Outside Westbrook. Knight kicks to DeBusher. Outside Westbrook. Pass to Money. He feeds it to Knight. Outside Westbrook. Some nice passing there by Memphis. Back to DeBusher. Outside Westbrook. The second chance effort stolen by Magic. Iverson with the ball, now guarded by Money. And here is Johnson. He passes to Bucks. All alone. But Grizzlies pull it in. Westbrook's got three rebounds now in this one. Rebounds are split just about down the middle in this game, Clark. I'd venture to guess whichever team is able to maintain that energy level on the glass will have the upper hand the rest of the way. Pass to Money. Back to Westbrook. Pulls up. Just five on the clock. And it's Westbrook again missing. Dishes it to Johnson. Allen Iverson on the way. Iverson left side. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. To Busher's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Money passes tonight. Iverson covering to stop the drought. Second shot opportunity. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. Johnson, and so he's picked up his final five, and he will sit for the rest of this game. Joe Dumas, he's checked in for Magic Johnson. That free throw, no good. And he sinks the second. They really could have used a perfect trip to the line there. Instead, they're still down two possessions. Outside Dumas. There's the dish to Iverson. Iverson right side. Baseline jumper. Shot to that. And now the fast break. Westbrook with the ball. A nice shot by Knight. Now that is a quick bucket. Pretty good in transition. That's right. That's exactly right. He loves when he gets the chance to get out and run. That's when he's at his best. The drive by Iverson uses the glass to finish the way. And the Wizards lead by four. How about that going up strong? I mean, he doesn't care how much height he's given up. It's attitude with him. And now called the Grizzlies. They're down by four. There's a minute 47 left in the game. Side Westbrook. The pass to Money. Right on the wing. A pass to DeBush. Kicks it to Westbrook. Misses the three. And his mechanics are just all out of whack now. He just has no feel for his shot. Well, his numbers certainly back that fact up. I mean, he has gone ice cold here. Dumars kicks to McKay. 
no good. Excellent D there from DeBusher. One oh four left to play in the final quarter. Can I hit? Nice D from the Prodigy. Washington's gone one and two from three point range here in the fourth. And stolen by Knight. And now the Grizzlies. Fast break. Knight leading the charge. The shot misses. And they go to the intentional foul. Knights all checked in for the Wizards. There's 37 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. And McHale backs down. The Prodigy passes to four. And so they foul intentionally. It's the first, and that puts them up by five. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a 6-1 ball game. He adds to their lead with a couple of solid free throws. Timeout called. The Grizzlies, they're losing by six. 27 seconds left in the fourth. And Washington making a change here. Dumars has checked in. Outside Westbrook. It's good! And now they trail by just four. And they stop the clock as soon as they can with the intentional foul. Well, you do what you have to do to extend this game and try to get the ball back. In this situation, clock management crucial. So it gets them both, and it's a six-point ball game. Here's Westbrook. And they've got to score quickly. Yeah, no time to waste at all. Goes up from the top of the key. Rebound, Washington. And now we've got the intentional foul. He drops the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. And a new group getting ready for the Wizards. So he goes two for two at the lot, and it's an eight-point game. And here's Jones. From the arc. Offline. And so Washington takes...